Will? About you and me, I wasn't all bad. You know, just... Not exactly perfect timing. <laughs> and, uh, he might be right. Haley's comment's gonna come back early for anyone. I think it'd be for you. So, Mrs. Holland, or would you prefer I called you Carla? I'd prefer you call me a cab. Or maybe you can just tell me what it is that I'm doing here. You're here because you were the last person to see the deceased alive. Meaning, you're not just a friend, you're a suspect. I know my rights. I could say nothing. I could walk out of here right now. Where did you get this? We found that on the body. Have you seen that before? I swear, you guys are gonna bankrupt us. Do you know that? <laughs> Man, if my father comes down. All right, done. So, what's the verdict? How do I look? Come on, like you don't know. My mother thinks I look like a slut, so that'd be my first guess. I mean, come on, every guy I know is hot for you. Right. Name one. I could name 20. Okay, start with one. Well, Aaron. Sorry, it doesn't count. What do you mean, doesn't count? Because he's my friend. I mean, isn't that a, a good thing? Um, oh, sweetie. You know, you're really cute with this whole Molly Ringwald thing. Yeah, shut up. I'm just saying, you have a lot to learn about men. Sometimes I think if my mother were still alive, I'd be better at all this guy stuff. That's funny, because I think that if my mother had somehow died during childbirth, I would have no issues with men whatsoever. <laughs> it's a nice color on you, Jenna. Hi, Mr. Knoll. We should go. Craig's party. Night, Dad. Carla. Quick work? Yeah. I'll meet you up front. Bye, Mr. Knoll. All right, Jenna. Those pregnancy kits are moving like hotcakes. <sighs> Another late night? Had quite a few lately. Yeah. I'm, it's just finally hit me that my friends are all leaving, so I'm just trying to squeeze in every last minute, I guess. It's like I told you, by next summer, you'll have a whole new set of friends. God, I hope not. When I was in high school, I couldn't bear to leave my little group, you know? But I did. And? Where are they now, those, those people? Who knows? Well, that's what I'm telling you. You grow up, you grow apart. Same thing's gonna happen to you. Hi, Dad. Really, everybody, feel it, work it. Hey. On the camera, on the camera, back to the left. Look at me, feel it. There we go. Hey. Hey, what time do you have? Five minutes after the last time you asked me. What's wrong, you okay? Nothing, it's just... Will was supposed to be here by now. Why are you so worried about Will? I mean, if you, you can't visit in September, then, um... Oh, okay, how's this? Parents weekend. Third week in October, you'll come off. It'll just be us. What about your parents? Oh, tell them to cancel. They'll never know. Hey, Mr. Hey. Yeah, um... Can, can you hold this for me? Yeah, sure. Great, how do I look? Uh, fantastic. He's agreed to that? I told you, I don't know. He met with his lawyer three hours ago. He hasn't been home. He hasn't called me. It's a lot to ask of someone, Craig. What choice do I have? Hey! Right, but why would he do that? And honestly, how could you even ask him to? Because he's my best friend. That's what friends do for each other. God, you're acting like I don't know what I've done. So we'll have a secret. Haven't you ever had a secret? I was gonna wait for your birthday, but given everything, oh, great. it was supposed to be a promise. Maybe now it's more like a hope. I don't know.
female praying mantis actually eats her mate after they mate. Cool. It's so weird. <laughs> How many of those have you had? Not enough. Excuse me. It's like <laughs> I predicted this will be your Broadway debut, and you will win the Tony. The <laughs> uh, excuse me. <laughs> Jenna, I have your jacket. Hey, Aaron. Look what Eric got me. Isn't it sweet? Oh, Eric. Yeah, that's very sweet. So, Aaron, MIT, right? Yeah, that's pretty impressive. So, Mr. McManus, can I ask you a question? Um, do, you, do you date only former students, or would you consider, like, future students also? Because I know a couple smoking hot eighth graders. That Aaron, you, you could... What? I mean, just say the word. I'll set it up. But, oh, I'm so stupid. They have brownies on Tuesday, so you need to be flexible on scheduling, of course. I think this qualifies as a quick drink, so... If you're ready. Yeah, let me just grab my bag. I'll meet you up front. So long, Mr. McManus. Thanks for coming to our party. Wait, what are you doing? Wait, you're leaving? Wait, with him? Stop following me, Aaron. What are you gonna do? Go, go back to his swinging bachelor pad that he pays for with the 18 grand he makes a year to compensate for the fact that no one wants to publish his crap-ass novel? Don't wait for me. You're gonna sleep with him, aren't you? Because that's, that's what you do, isn't it? You sleep with guys who don't give a damn for you. Well, let me ask you something. I mean, are, are you gonna believe him when he, he tells you that he loves you? Because he doesn't love you, Jenna. He does not love you. At least I've been laid. I'm not some virgin who's angry at the world because he can't convince any girl in town to sleep with him. Not any girl, Jenna. Not any girl. There's nothing I can do, a total eclipse of the heart. Hey. Hey. You two should probably talk, okay? You told her? I talk a lot when I'm nervous, man. I'm sorry. I've just been getting kind of anxious. Anxious? Well, yeah, I mean, you met with your lawyer like three hours ago. I still haven't heard a single word from you, man. I don't know what's going on. Why are you doing this to me? I should be having the best summer of my life right now. Meeting a girl right into my new roommates, not dealing with this. I feel terrible about this too, man. You know that. You know how hard it was for me to even ask. But you didn't ask. You had your father do that part. It must be nice having daddy to bail you out all the time. Too bad my dad can't do the same for me. He's too busy trimming hedges in front of the wall bounce. Hey, this sucks for me too, you know? You and Sam are the two most important people in my life, and both of you are looking at me like you don't even know me anymore. Look, Craig, I'm sorry. I guess I'm just nervous too. About? About what we decided to do. And what have we decided to do? The lawyer said I'd get off easy. I told him that's good, because being a bad driver and an idiot shouldn't be a crime. office went for the plea just like we talked about. Fine, community service, 90 days probation, but they're willing to suspend. Sentencing just a formality. Right. Are you okay? I will be by tomorrow. 